Hey everyone, this is Ram from Civil Center, and welcome to our channel. As we know, Civil Center is continuously working with the vision to guide civil engineering student and professional, and for that, we keep making videos on different topics and on different software related to civil engineering field. So, in the last session, we have learned how you can generate the GA drawing, that is, general arrangement drawing, and how you can. do the modification based upon the attributes and how you can apply the filters in the drawing in this session we are going to learn about what are the uses of marks in the drawing and what are the different levels that you can provide in a drawing so over here you can see there are levels like the profiles has been marked over here now if you want to add something or if you want to deduct something then how you can do that then you will have to simply uh, double click on the topic of the drawing like this is the standard drawing so you will have to just uh, click on the standard if you will use a 3d drawing then you will have to double click over there okay so like that you can just do the modification so now you have this view properties dialog box open with you and you can see the different properties over here so you can see that the profiles are mentioned over here so these things are known as marks okay now in the marks you have various option like the part mark bolt mark neighbor part mark surface treatment mark connection mark weld mark reinforcement mark and even the neighbor reinforcement marks so first of all let's discuss about the part mark so you can see that we have this profile mentioned over here so you can just go ahead and do the modifications over here like you don't want to see anything uh, like profile over here so you can simply select it and click on remove and then click on modify and you will see that this drawing has been modified and you can't see any profile over there then if you want to add material over there then you have to simply double click over there or you can uh, go ahead with uh, like material and click on add and then click on modify okay so i have just gone with the double click over here in the next segment we will also learn about the second method of doing it okay so now you can see this is showing the material over here like these two beams are not defined so it is showing steel undefined but over here it has been provided with this material so s355 jo that is the material that has been used over here so it is showing the material okay now we will go with the next thing that is name okay so if you have assigned the name then you can simply click on name click on add and then click on modify then it will modify accordingly like if you have assigned it then it will be like visible over here so you can see we have used beams over here and these pillars are column okay so you have used the name column for this you have used the name footing and for the rest you have used the name beam so it is showing it in the same manner if you want to just check out the class like uh, you may go ahead and uh, check out our uh, different things over here like which class is it that you have provided in the drawing so class is basically are uh, like differentiating each and every element in on the basis of uh, colors okay so you can see this is beam 6 this is beam 1 so it in the like actual model you will see that each one is having the different color okay so that is what the class means okay now i will just uh, modify it uh, i will add the profile over here and i will remove the name and the class these two things i want to get removed okay so i will just click on the modification button and it will change itself over here okay so like this you can just make the changes in parts mark now there are other things also that you can do over here like you can see that uh, visibility in view like what do you want to uh, like show like where it will be always or distributed or preferred or none so i will just keep it as always then parts that are out of view so you want to make that visible or not visible so suppose you want to make it not visible okay so if you are considering a particular view then those parts which are not in the view they will not show any kind of profiles over there so in this view like in this external view you can see we have just the uh, like uh, columns and the footings that are visible and a few beams are visible over there so only these are showing the profiles over here okay so you can just make the differences like that okay now let's click on visible 
uh then if you want to change the type okay so you can just simply like uh, if you want to, to go with this one okay then click on modify and you will see that now the tags are modified and they are being like uh, shown in this color like in this type okay so if there is just a single line uh, below them and not the whole thing like earlier i was using this one okay so you can go with either of them like you can also go with this one so you can see how this is like showing it okay now there are other things also like uh, you want to go with the color so suppose you are going with the red color and uh, you are just uh, making the background opaque you can also make it transparent that is up to you then you can just uh, check a line like uh, one little line to a group or whatever is your preference you can simply choose with that one then this is the type suppose you are going with this type that it will draw an arrow and it will just show all the things in your drawing according to the marks that has been provided over here okay so it will not just uh, put the names beside the uh, like members it will just uh, draw a line like you usually show to the marks okay like this okay so now you can see it is showing all the materials like this so you can just uh, go ahead and choose different methods of showing all these things now the another thing is the arrow suppose you are going with this arrow mark so instead of just a line over here you will find a arrow mark at this place let's click on modify and you will see the difference okay so you can also change the arrow type over here okay and now you can see each thing has been mentioned properly again you can do the changes in the colors so suppose you want to go with the blue color or uh, with the green color so you can also go with that so color preference is always there you can always change the colors and everything that is up to your requirement then you want to use the hidden lines for hidden parts or not okay so for the hidden lines you can see it is intersecting with something then it is showing it like this for the hidden lines or if you will just click on no then let's see what are the changes that is going to happen over here it will go with a bold line over here even for the hidden parts so i would like to keep it yes okay and then again i would like to just uh, go with the original things so i will just uh, not go with any type of lines over here and i will go with this option this is my convenient option okay so i'm going with this one but you can go with anything that is according to your convenience and you can just make the changes uh, so that your drawing is having a uh, like uh, details that are required at this point of time okay so you can just go with all these things okay like i have gone with red color over here you can just go with the black one also that is up to you okay the next thing the part has is the bold mark so you can see in this i am not uh, like choosing anything but you can change the choose the bold diameter bold uh, length then the whole diameter material so whatever the things you can simply choose it from here like uh, in the sm neighbor part marks you can go with the uh, part positions but i don't want that so i will just uh, remove that okay in the surface displacement and nothing is there correction marks so you can see all the options are available over here whatever you want to select you can simply select it from here and you can just uh, get it to the right side but i don't want anything so i am just removing it from here okay so positions i don't want it over here now just click on modify and you can see all the things that are there in the portion of the marks has been covered in the next segment or you can say in the next video we are going to learn about the objects so guys if you are liking this video then hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to our channel also if you have any kind of question then you can simply ask that in the comment section or if you are having like something in your mind and you want to join our professional training or you want to start your career as a building consultant then you can simply connect us on the number that is being shown on your screen and that is also available in the comment section as well as in the description so you can directly contact with us you can whatsapp us you can call us and our number is 8433248864 okay guys so we will wait for your responses till then take care bye bye